Yes, comic book hall. Cheryl! <laughs> Cheryl is in the house. And Cheryl says comic book hall. Elder God says comic book hall. We got two months saying comic book hall. We're doing comic book hall. Not bad. Good, good. Enjoy your nasty comic book hauling in the year. <laughs> Find out, not find out. Chill, brother. Chill, brother. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a fantastic week, gang. We got two packages. Two packages. Okay, let's do the small one first. This one, I wrote it down here. What did this one cost me? This one cost me about twenty-five dollars, including shipping. Okay, and the reason I bought this one is because, um, as you know, I'm not going to the comic book store anymore because I got kicked out for not not putting a muzzle on my face right uh, and it was like a week before they took off the mask mandates right I was going in there without my muzzle initially I went okay I'll put it on but for a few months I wasn't wearing my muzzle uh, and then the last week before they took out the rules to put muzzles on your face to go into a into a store um, they uh, they said okay if you don't wear your muzzle you can't come in so I said well it is what it is but oh, the owner was really nice I like the owner actually uh, he said you know what Chicho you can just you know bring the comic books out to you if you I said no man this is tyranny rolling out in Canada you need to we need to stand up against it right so I refuse to abide by these mandates uh, do, 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 do. cool nice packaging the guys included a Montreal comic book club see Montreal comic book he put a little sticker on these package not bad thank you cool nice packaging okay let's put this away let me show you this okay uh lion tooth they also wanted the scandinavian style democratic socialist state bush one and clinton ensured that private capital made russia a free for all but bonanza or oligarchs robbed the russian yeah yeah check check this out the reason i bought this is because it's a recent comic okay it's a modern comic it just came out like in the last I guess a couple of weeks two three weeks and the reason I bought it is because it's one of my favorite characters from the Marvel Universe and it's metal now usually I would have just picked up one copy of it but I picked up three copies of it because I had to distribute the shipping cost okay and this is Ghost Rider number nine and check out the cover for this check out the cover for this very metal very metal look at that I love this cover this is one of the best ghost ghost rider covers I've seen okay check it out very metal I like my metal covers and this is a great cover really I really like this cover I would have this as a poster on my wall right beautiful cover and I picked up three copies okay just to distribute the uh, shipping right uh, I guess my local comic shop doesn't want my business, so I'll send it out to Montreal, right? First time chat, Ravine Tahu. 3SOS, I forget how to read that. Hey, everything for your stream. Oh, God, the spammer. Nice cover, eh? Nice cover. And three coffees, okay? And this cost uh, $24, so it cost me a little bit more than... Uh, what I would buy in a comic book store like the cover price for this is uh, four dollars US so in in Canada in my comic book store it was costing me and this is twenty four dollars Canadian by the way so it would cost me around six fifty uh, Canadian okay uh, six dollars Canadian six fifty usually six yeah six six dollars six fifty Canadian or something like this so instead of paying eighteen dollars nine twenty dollars to my local comic shop I ended up paying $24 to a Montreal comic shop that I could have it shipped out to me screenshot moment hold on you know what if you want a screenshot I'm gonna take it out of the bag that way you don't get the reflection check this out here I'll take it out with the board as well it's a nice looking cover I really like this cover very metal I like Ghost Rider awesome cover awesome cover Oop, come on Hold on, hold on. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell? Okay. The board doesn't want to come up. It's modern bags. I, I like Silver Age bags instead of modern bags. Okay, we're not going to. We'll hold it like this. Check it out. 
and these are 9.4 good or this one is anyway check it out nice yeah nice nice awesome cover awesome cover look at that that's a nice cover very nice i like that that's a great ghost rider car really i looked at it epic it's, yeah seriously i was looking at it for the longest time on screen i was like man i need that because i'm not going to go to the comic book store to pick up comics like like they literally told me to get lost <laughs> What, what are you gonna do <laughs> okay uh, i guess i get lost what the hell maybe i should wear a yellow yellow star on my shirt next time eh? what the hell okay so let's put this on here Doink. let's do the next one let's do the next one uh, cool got it got it thanks chicho my pleasure elder god okay this one expensive expensive i wrote this down okay now i'll i'll tell you the price on it uh, before we get into it okay now i bought the this is two buys from the same guy right so i bought some stuff from the guy and my initial buy from him total it came out to 173 dollars okay so it was 150 dollars the stuff and then it was like 12 dollars in taxes and the shipping was insane right the shipping because the guy was going through global shipping program so the shipping came out to like it was like 60 bucks or something i talked to the guy i said listen this global shipping initially i said will you combine shipping he goes yeah you know it'll be this much but then the global shipping he couldn't combine it so global shipping people shipping through global shipping the sh combined shipping is insane right so the guy says oh he would refund me and then he contacted me he said he had some other stuff that were related to the same thing i bought right and if i wanted it he would put it all together and sell it to me for um how much was it? Two hundred and ten dollars. Okay, and I said I'll take it. Okay, you'll see what it is. You've seen some of this stuff. You've seen the stuff. Some of the stuff before. The business who blocked my access, uh, Elder God says, have not seen me since, and I used to spend fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to spend comic shop. Man, you guys saw how much comic shop I was spending a lot. Too bad for them, right? Fuck the fascists. Fuck those that stay silent when tyranny runs through your town, right? so this package total was 420 dollars let's say us okay 28 dollars 28 dollars was taxes duty that i had to pay the combined shipping with the two packages everything came out actually to 84 dollars us but the guy we talked about it and the guy refunded me 48 dollars right so basically the shipping cost forty dollars us taxes were twenty eight dollars us and total came out to four hundred and twenty dollars okay let's crack this baby open you'll see what this is all about controllers then wait why are you guys uh getting banned from books well they, they the comic book store uh, for a few months i was going in there without wearing a muzzle mask on my face because it became obvious that these masks are doing nothing it's it's bad for your health to wear these masks my opinion right and uh, i'm not going to muzzle myself this is tyranny rolling out and i refuse to wear a mask on my face right and one of the people working there really didn't like my attitude right didn't like it because i had a disagreement with them and stuff like this and a couple of i guess uh people uh, regulars there maybe didn't like it right uh Groot one young Giovanna Groot one salute <laughs> thank you very much for the sub right and then when I went in this was a week before they lifted the mask mandates by the way right when I went in the guy that didn't maybe he didn't like my conflict with him quickly ran ran to the back and told the owner hey Chicho's here. He doesn't wear a mask. So he came out and said, whatever. And one of the regulars there that nobody likes, uh, you know, got into the discussion and he said, Oh, I have a heart condition. 
uh, I'd appreciate if you wore a mask. And I said, look, man, uh, your fear doesn't, uh, you can't justify your fear taking away my rights. He goes, you lose your rights as soon as you walk through the room like that. You, you're, you're gonna... I didn't say this, but I'm thinking, I said, no, it doesn't, you clown, right? I, I said, I didn't say you clown. I said, no, it doesn't. I was pretty polite, right? Anyway, that's the reason. So I stopped buying comics on a weekly basis. I was spending a lot of money there, by the way. I get it. Okay, controllers and kebab, kebabs. I haven't sent out your package yet. <laughs> oh, the mask era. And another thing, the government used to divide us. Indeed, indeed. Oscar, what the hell would a mask do when you have a giant beard? <laughs> yeah, crazy, crazy. Even if they, if, and they, they don't work, right? They don't work. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Look at the packaging. Beautifully packaged. Beautifully packaged. And let me tell you about this. The guy was selling a bunch of these. Okay. With the first buy, right? Groot. I have never worn a mask. Greetings from the Netherlands. Greetings, Netherlands. Netherlands. Man, you guys almost, almost beat Argentina. Almost. right you guys played a good game that tall guy you guys brought in that scored two goals in the last like five minutes ten minutes crazy crazy so this guy okay he had a bunch of the stuff being sold and in in the first round that he had that stuff he, he put some stuff up i didn't win any and then the second round i won like 11 of them right and then he contacted me said listen i have a whole bunch more do you want them I'll give them to you. These are graded things. I'll give you the great the, the ones that are graded at nine dollars for ten dollars a pop. The ones that are graded at ten, I'll give it to you for twenty dollars a pop. And the ones that are graded anything less than a nine, you can have for free, right? And this, you know, everything we talked about it, we made a deal, and I ended up getting it. And the guy has a complete set of these things for himself, right? He said, "I sent the stuff in to get graded. I have a complete set," and. <laughs> and i looked up how many of these cars are actually graded that are in the database there's only two or three okay and the guy has one and i have the other one and then there's another person that has it right so check this out check this out oh i should bring this over hold on hold on these are these are these are these are hold on hold on i gotta i gotta bring something over hold on i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna come over i'm just gonna reach over and grab something hold on a second game hold on a second hold on a second <laughs> check this out Oh my God! No mask mandates ever again, Cheryl. I know a few local stores that had full mask hours for the first few of the days, and then optional the rest of the day. Oh, that's great! I thought it was a great compromise. There are always ways to have people be comfortable and not. That that's a great way to do it. That's a great way to do it, Cheryl. I don't know any places here that did that. All right, I don't know any places here that did that. Gang, as you know. As you know, I've been buying the rotten to the core <laughs> trading cards, right? For the Trump card specifically, but because of history as well, right? I just bought, I just bought. <laughs> there are 36 cards. There are 36 cards in this deck, right? I just bought 33 of them graded. The Trump card is not there, graded. Okay. The Rudy Giuliani card is not there, graded. And the first card, card number one, is not there, graded. This guy, look at the packaging the guy did. I just pulled one out. Fantastic packaging. Here's, the, here's one of them. Here's card number 35. Check it out. Check it out. Great. <laughs> wow. Now, if you look up the grading for this, 
and I talked to the guy a little bit during the lockdowns and stuff the price of grading went up to a hundred dollars a car to grade I'm like what because there were low manpower there were backlogs so they were they didn't really want anyone to send the cars to be graded right right now for the cars to be graded it cost fifteen dollars US to get the cars graded right fifteen dollars US to get the cars graded uh, and then if you're gonna send it to them there's shipping costs you have to have the cards and stuff like this I ended up paying four hundred and twenty dollars approximately for thirty three cars graded it comes 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 to about thirteen dollars a card uh, graded and there's like a handful of twenty uh tens here like perfectly graded right so rotten to the core and this is a psa grading I, th these are the only cars i have graded i've never bought graded cars or anything like this right and as you know i do have the trump card right so at some point i will try to get the trump card either graded or try to get a really good deal on one <laughs> right let me crack this open so there should be 33 cards here take a look like look look at these like the guys package these up so nicely so nicely look at this look at this <laughs> look at this <laughs> look at this <laughs> this one some stores here had the uh, granny hours where nhs and all popular people oh, okay cool can't love the guy granny hour granny hour the perfect hour uh to go out and look for some hot old babes <laughs> here's another one check it out andy capasso andy capasso look at that very nice these are super nice super nice what is the trump card oh dr skills i'm going to show you the trump card check it out check it out this is from a pack i have right so i don't have card number one card number uh 26 or card number card number 36 graded everything else here uh should be from this deck i'm going to show you the trump card this is trump's rookie card okay this is trump's rookie card now this is the rudy giuliani card right I'm assuming this is a Rudy Giuliani card, a tr um, rookie card as well, right? Came out in 1989, right? Came out in 1989. And gang, do not forget, Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor too and here's the donald trump rookie card card number 26 right this baby graded at around nine sells for a few hundred dollars on ebay okay and as you know if you might not you may know uh, donald trump just a few days ago put out his nft trading cards right nft trading cards I really, I, I really like the art style for these cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fantastic. And it's got history in the back, who they are and stuff. Donald Trump, real estate tycoon, right? So Donald Trump just put out his NFT, uh, NFT card set, okay? And I didn't know this when he first put it out. There were 45,000 NFTs, 45,000 NFTs. For $99 each and he sold out in 12 hours right wow wow he had hair <laughs> feels good man feels good hilarious here's another one Ronald Lather awesome I love these I love these these are great great gag these are ridiculous <laughs> oh, good god not nfts yeah 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 he, like literally he sold forty-five thousand nfts of donald trump dressed up as superman and stuff like this superhero right 99 dollars a pop so 4.5 million dollars in 12 hours and then if the nfts work like this usually if uh, if the nft sold the artists 
uh, the owners of the original NFT that put them out, they get a kickback. So they get 10%. So check this out. This one is a 10. Look at this. Perfect card. Graded as a 10. Right? So there's a handful of 10s here. There's a lot of number nines. And there's some six and sevens. Not six, sorry. Uh, sevens and eights. Right? Sevens and eights. The other one was a 10. Here's a nine. Right? Awesome, awesome, awesome. The art on the uh, art on the cars is absolutely it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And these cars uh, were put out by an uh, independent comic book publishing company called Eclipse Comics. Eclipse Comics, right? Awesome. Greater than nine. And the history, more history here, more truth here than any any corporate propaganda you might read any centralized indoctrination center you might attend right so there should be 33 cards here i'm just going to count them let's make sure all 33 are here and then i'll crack them open uh later maybe we'll look at, maybe we'll look at them all one two if you guys want we can look at them all one two but we're going to do a reading of these a legit uh, straight up just the way we did the drug war trading cars right one two three four five six so there's six there six seven eight nine ten eleven 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 twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen sixteen seventeen eight 17 18 19 20 21 21 22 23 24 25 26 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 33 cards very nice very nice <laughs> This controller Zen says, uh, "Is there a Jared K uh, Kushner? God no, a Jared Kushner card? No, no. I bet its value is skyrocketing right now. He just made an appearance at the World Cup with Ellen. Jared Jared Kushner? No, he didn't. <laughs> controller Zen, Jerry Donald Trump's son-in-law, that piece of shit. Uh, that guy? No, kebabs. The thing is." They might be the only NFTs in existence to ever gain value. Haha, <laughs> kebabs, funny. Possibly, possibly. April 15th card. April 15th card. Uh, Dr. Skills, the thousands of Republicans that need to watch YouTube videos to see how they can buy NFTs and what the blockchain is in general. <laughs> it's hilarious, hilarious. <laughs> awesome gang awesome very happy about these very happy about these these look phenomenal like really like awesome awesome and at some point i'm gonna have to send them donald trump cards and the rudy giuliani card and the first card to get graded so i have a full set full set of rotten to the core trading cards and there's like two three or four of these cards graded that all of them like no one has a set except for the guy that sold it to me right wow first time chat salute salute welcome to our live streams hey from toronto salutations from victoria 